sometimes called the other four-year degree, an apprenticeship includes classroom time and on-the-job training that leads to certifications and licenses. Hey everyone, I'm Angelica, here with Build Your Path, and the topic of today's video, drum roll please, apprenticeships. An apprenticeship is a training program for specialized and technical jobs that require tons of brain power along with hands-on work. Some of the different trades that are apprenticeship-based may include electricians, plumbers, HVAC technicians, or carpenters. However, there are a number of built environment careers that require an apprenticeship. Apprenticeships are supported by the built environment industry as a high quality career pathway where companies can develop and prepare you for the future. You may have the opportunity to get paid, earn work experience, receive classroom instruction, and gain nationally recognized credentials. Many apprenticeships now include the possibility of earning college credits that can be used at local community colleges. Now, we want to take a brief second to recognize the gracious sponsors of this video. M. Shapiro and & Duncan and Carter Machinery. Both these firms employ apprentices who eventually have the opportunity to work for them. In a little bit, we'll interview a current Shapiro and Duncan apprentice to get their perspective. Carter Machinery places a focus on high school graduates, post-secondary graduates, and military veterans. Shapiro and Duncan and Carter Machinery are what is known as merit shop firms, meaning their apprentice pay scale is based on performance. The other option would be to become a union apprentice. A typical apprenticeship program can take anywhere from three to five years to complete depending on the trade. Generally, an apprentice will spend 120 hours in class and complete 2,000 hours of on-the-job training per year. Once complete, you can take a test to earn a journeyman's license, which allows you to work without supervision. Many people go on to earn a master's license after more years of experience and passing additional exams. The minimum requirement to start an apprenticeship is a high school diploma or GED. Most programs require you to be at least 18 years old and have a job in the field you are training in before starting. Several apprenticeship programs require passing an entrance exam that may include interviews and math tests. Being drug free is important since there will be drug tests. Failing one means you'll lose your place in a program. Yes, you do get paid. A major benefit of being in an apprenticeship program is that you are paid while you learn. With each year you complete in a merit shop program, your wages will increase. At the end of the three to five years, you could possibly double your salary from what it was at the beginning. Instead of starting your career at 20 or 22, when most would finish a typical college degree program, you could be earning a full-time salary right out of high school. Think of all the money you'll be saving. Okay. Now it's time to hear from an actual apprentice. I went on site at Shapiro and Duncan to hear what their apprentice, Raul, had to say. Let's talk to an apprentice at Shapiro and Duncan. Nice truck. I wonder if it's Shapiro or Duncan's. Hi, Earl. How are you doing today? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Can you tell me more about your pathway for Shapiro and Duncan? Yeah. So when I started, I was fresh out of high school wasn't sure what I wanted to study. I came here for a summer job and um, was introduced to the apprenticeship program. I decided to join and I'm here now. All right, so what is your apprenticeship program? I am in the plumbing, the plumbing program. Can you take me through a typical day through your work? Um, yeah, so when I wake up, um, I usually wake up about 4.30, 4 o'clock and get to the job site. Um, when I walk into the job site, I make sure all my PPE is on. And if I already have a project that I'm doing, I go straight to work. Or if not, I'll go to the foreman or the lead man and so they can assign me a new project and go with them. So when I get assigned a project, say it's run a copper line, I make sure I get all my fittings, everything, all the material I need, um, take them to where I'm going. I lay it out on the floor so I can put hangers up and then throw my pipe, solder it, and then read it. So what is your take on apprenticeships versus college? Yeah, so if you're anything like me and you're unsure what you want to study or you really don't know or nothing's calling your attention for, for college, an apprenticeship program will be a great uh, place to start because what I learned here 
I can always use in my house. I don't need to call a plumber or an experienced mechanic to come fix something because I know how to do it. At the same time, you're working your 40 hours, getting paid, going to school maybe t uh, two nights a week. And uh, what you're learning, you're, you're putting to use in your, in your job. That sounds great. What is the most unique thing about your job? For me, the most unique about my job is that I got the chance to get certified in MedGas. What MedGas is, is basically installing piping in hospitals that will run the oxygen, um, the anesthesia for the patients who go under surgery. And that's something very special because not just anybody can put that in. You need to be certified because you're putting people's lives at risk if you don't do that correctly. So what do you love most about this? Basically, if you have questions, if you're unsure of something, you can ask somebody. You don't need to be ashamed of not knowing something because there's so much that goes on here, it's impossible for you to remember everything. And there's always teachers, there's always mentors who are ready to teach you, who are there and, and don't hide anything from you. So if someone came up to you and asked you about skilled trades, what would you tell them? Um, well, skilled trades is something good to go into because you're learning and you can take that with you wherever you go. That's something that's always there, something's always here, and nobody can take that from you. Okay, so you've heard from me, and now you've heard from the expert. What do you think? Sounds good, right? I'll leave you with this. Apprenticeships are awesome, and here's why. You can earn while you learn. Completing an apprenticeship allows you to finish a training program without any debt. Portability. With apprenticeship training, you can take your training and certifications anywhere in the country. Earnings potential. Many skilled trade jobs have income potential that's equal to or greater than the careers that require college degrees. Demand. Employers are looking for skilled, eager, and trainable young people to fill skilled trade positions. And lastly, starting point. Skilled trades are fantastic career launching pads. Apprentices often go on to become managers or even own their own businesses. Any questions? Good. Think of Build Your Path as a resource for those considering entering the workforce. Click on our links below to help you navigate the next steps of your career. Well, that's it for this episode. We couldn't do this video without our sponsors, Shapiro and & Duncan and Carter Machinery. Find their links in the description below and be sure to follow them on social media. That'll do it for me, Angelica.